G'day, this is Mike uh, with a quick run through for this uh, draft version of this new website. At the moment it's still installed on imagerys.com in the subdirectory PON and under here is a multi-site which I'm going to demonstrate some of the main features of now. Um, there will be further documentation as this website progresses in its design and content and then of course also when uh, it's uh, migrated over to its final destination. So the first thing of course is to, to log in. So uh, we'll log in up here and I'm going to log in as um, Adrian. Um, and uh, when Adrian logs in the first time I'll ask him to reset his password. Okay so logging in there Okay, now this is the dashboard and you'll notice that the dashboard looks a bit different from a normal WordPress site because of the sub-sites here. So there's a few different aspects. For example, if you wanted to add a plugin or a theme, you would actually do it during uh, through the network dashboard instead of each individual dashboard. Okay, so there's a, there's a, a bit to, uh, to demonstrate there, but I just want to give a quick overview. Um, now, at the moment, if you click on My Sites, um, you will see the main site, which is the site that comes up um, in the root directory. And then there's uh, uh, two, three other sites as well. These are product sites. There is another site uh, called Autoboss, which I've created, but I haven't added Adrian as a user to that site yet. So even though Adrian is a an administrator, um, that doesn't necessarily mean he's been added to all of the sites as a user. So uh, we can fix that because he is an administrator, as you can see here, site-wide administrator. So we looked at the dashboard here through My Sites and could only see those four sites. But if I go through um, to Sites here instead, you should be able to see all of the sites that have been added to this website. As you can see down the bottom here, this is the um, the Autoboss website. So we're going to go to the dashboard for that. Okay, and as you can see the URL here, it's um, uh, another website which is in a subdirectory underneath PON. Now if we look at users here, as you can see there's only myself as a user but I can add a new user so I'm just going to press add new there um, and now this is this will be an existing user because Adrian clearly does exist in the network um, so I'm going to just start typing his name there and it'll search and come up with his existing user and I'm going to add him in this um, this this sub website as an administrator as well and as you can see all the other levels are there as well so you can add a user um, to a specific level okay so um, administrator and I'm going to do it without sending an email that requires their confirmation yet so that'll just happen automatically add existing user okay now um, if I press on my sites we should be able to see the Autoboss website in there users database uh, so in the users dashboard so hopefully that'll work ah yes there it is now we can visit that website and the dashboard directly okay so um, that's what we'll do next